All right, good morning. We've got a lot to cover today, so I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, we are right here in the the uh, the throes of the spring market, and uh, we've had a great first quarter in terms of sales. We've had a really great quarter in terms of the total leads that are, have come in. We've had significant growth. And so uh, I know that you have a lot of people that you're already working with heading into a fantastic market. I can see it because the, uh, the pendings and the, uh, the contracts are really starting to pop. And uh, you guys are keeping us on our toes, which is great. And I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank you for getting through the renewal process. Uh, I hope that that was, uh, you know, the training was effective. I know the paperwork is uh, always, you know, a challenge to get that done. So I want to thank everybody. We are officially here and rocking in 2013. And uh, in order to do that, I, I want to look back because it was sort of a whirlwind uh, for going through all of our awards and the different things that, that, that happened. So I want to look back at the awards that we won, not to pat ourselves on the back, but to look at it and say, hey, how can we leverage these different awards and how can we make sure that uh, that we can have even a better 2013 as a result of winning some of these things. So I've got some slides here that are actually from the new listing presentation, uh, specifically about relocation. I shortened them up a little bit. I hope that they're poignant and um, and you can use them to really uh, talk to clients about why they should do business with us. Very important that when we talk about Cardis, we cannot ever use Cardis and then tie it to a, a number of transactions or a comparison of we get more Cardis business than other people get Cardis business. Cardis is very, uh, very particular about that. They don't want us to do that. It's outlined very strongly in the language of our contract. So you need to be very careful that whenever we're making comparisons, we're not directly saying we have X percentage of the Cardis business and somebody else has Y. It's a no-no and we can't do it. But what we can do is we can talk about NM relocation and business development and all of the clients that we work with, including Cardis. And in that, in that, it's fine as long as we're not directly tying it to Cardis to say, we worked with over 7,200 clients just in 2012. And if you're working with a seller, you know the thing that's important to you, Mr. Seller, is that 80% of them were buyers. I can help expose your listing to more buyers and it's simple. If we've got all of those buyers and they're in all of our agents' cars every weekend, we're committed to show our own listings. And at any time that there's a listing that, that we have that fits for that buyer, we're certainly going to try to get them there and I would hope that we could have your listing so that we can do that for you too. I think sometimes when we talk about Cardis, it's, uh, I don't know that everybody can articulate exactly what it is. And it's a relocation network. And a relocation network brings a lot of buyers and sellers to the market. And the way to look at Cardis, this is from 2008. And in 2008, Cardis and Primacy were actually two separate relocation companies. So I redid the slide because I think this is just visually a great way to explain it to somebody. If you take Primacy and Cardis and combine them together, that's the size of the business that they've done. And this has stayed relative. I, I just, in order to prove it, I only, can, I only have 2008 numbers, so those numbers that I have to use. But this is absolutely still uh, in scope exactly the same today. And if you look at, at Cardis and compare it to the nearest competitors, it's just not even, there's nothing comparable about it. You look at the number of, of buyers and sellers, the real estate transactions that Cardis was involved in, it's almost 200,000. And the next closest competitor did less than 50,000. And in fact, if you took the next four closest competitors and combined them all together, they still didn't do as much business as Cardis. So quite simply, it is the largest relocation network in the world. And the reason why that's important to Mr. Buyer or Mr. Seller is because we are one of the principal brokers in that, uh, in that network. And there's over 30,000 offices that are trying to get involved in this network, but only 450 of them actually get the principal status. We're one of them. So 
Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit later about how well we do among those 450, but just to be one of the 450, you've got to be pretty good at what you're doing. So I, I mentioned um, our awards, and I think it's really important that we, uh, that we make sure that we're not always leading with our awards, and I'm not just talking about the relocation side. It may be your own personal awards, it may be uh, the number one in, in the world, and it may be some of the relocation awards that we won. Now, some people are really going to gravitate to the fact that we've got this kind of a resume. Other people are going to come through a relocation network expecting that, of course, they were assigned to a really good company. That's what they were promised. And almost by, by leading off with too many awards and, and too boastful, you can kind of push some people away sometimes. So you've got to feel your way through this. And I think you want to pick and choose the times that you want to talk about different, different awards that we have. You know, in, the, in the, the greatest sense of things, you know what, we have an impressive resume and it's important enough for me to show it to you. And there's some specific awards here that really make sense to you, Mr. Seller. One of those awards would be the Cardis Masters Cup, right? We've, we've talked a little bit about this, so I don't want to go too deep in it. But basically, of those 450 brokers, there's a lot of things that they measure them on, like customer service and the percentage of, uh, of listings that they're able to sell and the total days on market and the total expenses to the seller and a whole myriad of things. And they look at all of those categories and they say, who is the best across every one of those categories? In 2012, that was Century 21 New Millennium. So we're, we're good at a lot of things. One of the things that we're very good at is the marketing and the sale of a home. And this is an award that we have not talked about as much, but it was a very important award that we won, particularly with our ExxonMobil opportunity that, that is... Uh, that's really here and now. I'll be making a presentation this weekend uh, to an awful lot of people. So, you know, we will start to see some of these in, in this year and then a whole lot next year. And it's really important. The top marketing award was specifically for corporate listings. And it measured the total percentage of listings that were sold, right? The the, the percentage of the of your opportunities that you were actually able to get uh, through through settlement. It measured the total days on market, and it measured the total expense to the seller. So a simple statement that you can make is, we were able to sell a greater percentage of our listings. We were able to do that in, in, a, in less days on the market, which resulted in less expense to the seller. And that's ultimately what's the most important for you, is to put the, the, the most net dollars in your pocket. So this is a really big award. We'll have the press release for all of this stuff. The press releases are on our blog. So if you go on to, uh, to www.c21nm.com, go to the blog, you'll see categories. You can see press releases, or you can look at it under, under relocation. And all of these are there. So if anybody's ever asking you a question, or you get into a situation where, you're where the service of the company was questioned, you have press releases that you could provide the link to immediately so that you could type, hey, these, this is my answer and you need to read this press release about what, you know, how well we do as a company. The other awards, we, we, we've won the top inventory management award for three years in a row. That's the best in the entire country, three years running. Unfortunately, I just don't know that that's something that really means a lot to a seller. That's what happens when the house flips over into inventory, there's no seller there, the corporation owns it, and we help them manage that and get it sold. Well, that's really important and it helps us certainly to go to ExxonMobil and talk to them about why they would want to put us into a, in a good spot. It's not as probably important as that home marketing award is. The USA Diamond Award I want to talk about in a second, and the Five Star Circle of Excellence Award really relates to our friends and family program and you can see four years running we've got the five star circle of excellence award which just means that we're very good at that this slide is also in the listing presentation it used to be right in the middle of the relocation side and uh, i've asked and i believe that they're they're moving it to the back of the of the present of the of the listing because i think i understand when when you're there doing a listing presentation your number one goal ought to be, and I'm sure is, win the listing, 
And if that's all that ever happened every time you went to a listing appointment, that would still be pretty good. So I, I totally understand that. I think it's important that we have something like this in our listing presentation as a place marker to make sure that we ask because we are so focused on getting the listing at that point. And if you don't have something there to remind you and say, oh, you know what, I, I need to ask this question, where are they going and have they gotten any help? And let me tell you why Century 21 New Millennium would be the right person to help you. And you have all of this information. We've talked about our friends and family program. The, the, the press release and a star and the marker that you can add that your local competition can't is that you, you were the five-star circle of excellence award winner, which is in direct relation to the goals and the accountabilities of providing people with service anywhere around the country. There's another really pretty important uh, award that we won, and that was the USAA Diamond Award. We all know that USAA is one of our largest clients, and, and winning awards with them is a, is a very good thing for our company. So this was really for our delivery of their mortgage program. And so I know that uh, you know at, when you're presenting offers sometimes, I've seen it come in as a save the deal where it says, hey, the listing agent is, had some sort of a bad experience uh, a year and a half ago, and they are not wanting to accept uh, my offer, and they want me to, to look at different financing. You know, A, we can't get pushed around like that. But B, um, this is something that we can specifically go back to them and say, I understand. You know what? When you're dealing with any lender, if you don't know how to navigate that system, I don't care if it's a local lender or a national lender. If you're not familiar with it and you don't know how to navigate it, you're going to run into problems. But that's not going to happen here because I'm very familiar with it. My company's very familiar with it. In fact, we were the best in the country at delivering it in the last, in the last year. And that's not going to be a problem for us. In addition, I've got a local guy. Uh, he's here and he's with USAA and we can connect him anytime we want. Bottom line, we're going to be just fine going through this financing and that really isn't a concern that we need to be having. So that's an opportunity. Again, you have a press release. You have something so that you can go directly to that person and say, hey, not a concern. Let's, let's move forward. And especially that, that's probably the most important thing on a weekend, right? If this kind of thing happens on the weekend, you've got to get the offer in. You can type a quick email and say, look, I get it, but I don't get it. I've got a press release that says that I know what I'm doing with this program. Whatever experience it was that you had, it wasn't with me. And this award pretty much would put you guys to, you know, feeling a lot better about my ability to deliver it. So that's really a couple of, the, of a brief overview of the awards. Again, all of those press releases are on the blog, and that's the best place to go and get them. And you can literally just cut and paste that link into an email or into anything that you're doing as a reference and a proof that I'm not just spouting this stuff out. We won it. And I can tell you that our local competition cannot say they won any of these awards. So it's important. Um, be careful of being too boastful, but make sure that we also know what, they, what these awards were and use them in the right situations.